Or maybe, uh, Professor Yu, Yuchiro, want to respond to my question. Why only CP? Why only CP and who pay the insurance premium, the government, right? Yeah, yeah. How the government said about that? <laughs> so the first question is about C uh, uh, the eligibility of our, in, of our compensation system uh, limited to CP. And um, um, uh, there used to be a statistics of a lawsuit case or conflict case uh, of OBGY in Japan. It's kind of a scientific paper. It says that most common lawsuit or conflict case is related to CP. And um, uh, I, I presented uh, that the, um, the financial burden of insurance premium is uh, substantially paid by public insur insurance payer, but the finance, financial state of public insurance payer is not very good mm -hmm. in, uh, nowadays in Japan. Mm -hmm. So, um, uh, to be honest, they don't want to pay any money, okay. but uh, the government and the JQ uh, persuaded them uh, to pay some money. So uh, we had, and we and the scientific society of obstetricians had to limit the criteria uh, to the least one. So uh, the, uh, um, the scientific society uh, uh, took up the uh, CP as the first uh, target of okay. this system. So they are planning to expand this system to cover neonatal death or maternal okay. death. But actually, uh, as of now, uh, it is Mm, it is not probable uh, due to the uh, si uh, financial s strain. Yeah. So, uh, no policy to expand to other conditions? I mean, not only on uh -huh. the GYN? Well, yeah, actually, well, actually, uh, as of now, we have no plan to expand uh, to cover other medical specialties. And I c what I can say is that uh, Japanese obstetrician was very, very enthusiastic for uh, establishing this system. But other medical professionals uh, uh, are not very enthusiastic for, uh, to, uh, to expand this system. I used to be a surgeon of uh, gastrointestinal tract, and I am a member of a committee of Japanese Surgical Association on Patient Safety. And I made a presentation on this system uh, once or twice. But uh, uh, in that committee, all of them are really interested in uh, the, the system. But uh, there was not, uh, uh, the, the no movement followed okay. after that. So that's, uh, that's the point. Mm. Interest, but no action. Mm. Well, <laughs> mm -hmm. right. it's the floor is invited to give any comment or talk mm -hmm. or question. Please try to be shorter at your question. Well, I, I, I think uh, the system is interesting. Mm. Whether or not you can cover other mm -hmm. areas is another matter. The system is interesting in that uh, a third party review mm -hmm. and investigate the whole thing. All right? So uh, it uh, means that the, the patient or the relative can be assured of a non-biased mm -hmm. system right. and that is uh, one of the reason why mm -hmm. you know the lawsuit mm -hmm. the, 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 the lawsuit from this condition mm -hmm. come down I think uh, this element have to be highlighted because a any system if if the people who are involved in uh, are, mm -hmm. are involved in the review mm -hmm. for example I did the OB, uh, the, the, the procedure and I review it then it is not going to be a fair system mm -hmm. uh, because I cut the cake and I choose the bigger piece mm -hmm. to eat and then you have the small piece, then it's not. F so, so I think the, 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 the beauty of the system, the beauty of the principle mm -hmm. is that it is revealed by a third party. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I think uh, this, uh, this has to be expanded to other areas. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, I think uh, it is justified to do it for CP because CP incur a very long-term care mm -hmm. after, after birth. Mm 
it, mm. it is a whole life event. Yes, if you yes. have a relative with CP, mm. you have to take care of the child all the time. The brain may be good, mm. but the physical function is not good, and so on and so on. It's not like other condition who uh, that uh, incur instant death or mortality or other things. Uh, so, so that's uh, that's uh, something, uh, some factor to consider. Uh, I think uh, the the question that I like to ask mm -hmm. is whether or not all facilities enroll in the system, and whether or not it is private or government, or it is by choice, or it is compulsory. I, okay. I think this is very important because mm -hmm. uh, if it is compulsory, mm -hmm. both the public and private, mm -hmm. the public have to be, have a, a, a great share in, 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 the, in the money because uh, the delivery of care, if it is not the, the private hospi hospitals are the choice, mm -hmm. not, uh, not a, a, a compulsory system to provide care all right, if the public, it is a compulsory system to provide care. If you don't provide care as, uh, if I am a member, a citizen of your country, if I don't provide, if you don't provide care, so where I can go to, right? So if it is uh, more of a public, then I think uh, the funds perhaps may come from the, the public and a third party of review with no bias, I think is important. So, so I think this issue, uh, and, and uh, the longevity of the care mm -hmm. and uh, the fund, where should it come from, depends mm -hmm. on, on, on how we think about the system. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you, Professor Chit. Other? Uh, yes, uh, Dr. Karun, uh, Professor Karun? No. no. Uh, General <laughs> Karun, <laughs> okay, <laughs> Air Force General Karun. He's going to be the next uh, president of the OBGYN oh. of Thailand. Okay. Okay, I, I have uh, two questions mm -hmm. for Professor uh, Yishiro. Mm -hmm. uh, just to make us uh, more understanding about mm -hmm. um, okay. the delivery system mm -hmm. in, in Japan. Mm -hmm. Do you have the mid midwife del delivery system in Japan? Mm -hmm. Because in Thailand, we have the midwives mm -hmm. that uh, are allowed to deliver the babies mm -hmm. too. And 70% 70, 70 of the delivery in Thailand uh, done by the midwife. As Professor Pisek said that we have uh, 700,000 deliveries a year. So if something happened um, during the delivery of that performed by the midwives, mm -hmm. we um, of citizen in charge have to to responsible for that too. This is the system in Thailand. So it's very difficult for us. Mm -hmm. And we have only 3,000 of citizens, right? Less than that. Less than that. <laughs> 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 and how many the babies born a year in Japan? Uh -huh. Okay. <coughs> Just two questions. Okay. Oh. Here you also question for Dr. Chit. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll take both. Okay. Oh. Actually, um, uh, our system is uh, not the mandatory system, it's voluntary system. Uh, uh, as I told you that there is no legal background, legal backing uh, of this system. However, uh, in historical view, uh, the Japanese obstetricians was very, very enthusiastic for the launch of this system. So they united very firmly to support this system. So we achieved 99.9% .9 of registration uh, in, in our system. And, uh, both we, public and yes, both public and, and private. private. And uh, actually, uh, uh, in Japan, uh, most of the uh, medical institutions are private. We have a small number of maybe 20% mm, or something like that of public uh, uh, medical institutions. But they share the same idea or they share the same value. Uh, the medicine is for the public. Medicine is public mission. Uh, so, um, uh, the, uh, in order to answer the next questions, and we also have midwives, and midwives can run their own facilities. We have more, uh, more than 3,000 child bus facilities, and other than that, there are 400 midwives facilities. Mm -hmm. It is called birth center. 
and but about it carries only one percent of childbirth in Japan. And every year uh, we see uh, uh, nearly uh, 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 not one million, uh, one, one, one mi uh, ten million, one million uh, childbirth. Mm. One nearly one million a childbirth in Japan. Uh, the the the, uh, the figure is uh, decreasing and shrinking year by year. On the only one percent is carried by midwife's birth center. Yes. Thank you. Mm. Any more comment? Cap. Yeah. Mm. and is <laughs> for the patient yeah. size. Uh -huh, <coughs> กับรัฐบาลญี่ปุ่นที่ท่านได้ให้สิ่งที่ดีกับคนไข้นะคะแต่ว่าดิฉันก็คาดหวังว่าในอนาคตที่ประเทศญี่ปุ่นจะมีระ
and could have been prevented. Enough? Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, thank you, Tony. Okay, regarding communication, uh, we published a report, investigation and report, both the uh, child bus facilities and guardians, and we facilitated them uh, to, uh, to have communication based on that investigation and report. But uh, that's our strategy, but um, now, as of now, uh, not all of them are doing, uh, doing the communication. But, we, um, uh, but uh, uh, at least we were successful uh, in facilitating them sh uh, to share the, the, the common idea of what happened and uh, how it's evaluated uh, uh, in, uh, in individual case by, uh, by uh, looking into our investigational report. And uh, um, to, uh, what, what, is that? what is the second question? Process, uh, uh, process. I'm sorry, I, I lost the second question. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, ah, okay, measurement. Yes. Um, how well our, is the system yes. working? And, uh, right. Yes, our system aims at uh, reducing uh, the incidence of CP and reducing loss of the cases and conflict. So now we, are, we have been monitoring uh, the number of approved cases. Uh, it seems to be dec uh, on the declining trend. F on the first year, 419, and second year, 382. <laughs> and the third year, 355. Uh, from fourth year, we will see in the future. And uh, also, we are monitoring uh, the, uh, the figure of lawsuit cases. It, it's on the declining uh, trend, as I showed you. And um, I have no answer to the third question. It's quite difficult. Okay. <laughs> as you should. Tony's question always difficult to answer. <laughs> uh, one question for me. I, I just yes. wonder why mm. the mm. obstetrician in your country mm. support this scheme, whereas other professionals, mm. they don't. Well, actually, um, actually uh, among all the medical specialties, OBGY was really, really serious about the shortage. Uh, or uh, many obstetricians quit their jobs, or they just, they, uh, or uh, they preferred to uh, uh, to work on health checkup, yeah. but they do not work on delivery uh, for fear of being sued. That was happening in Japan 10 years ago, and it was a very serious and urgent state. So the government, po lead, leading political party, and the JQ, and scientific society worked together. But uh, there is no s uh, such a serious uh, uh, situation about other medical specialties so far in Japan. Yeah. Any more question from the floor, please? <laughs> uh, because you mentioned about the uh, financial challenges, so I just I think it's a uh, it's a question about sustainability of the system. So, are there any possible solution for that? This is for your the question for you. Mm -hmm. And another question is for Ajahn PC. Because uh, we would like to initiate this in Thailand. So uh, no, do you no, think it no, is no, possible yes, to do it? <laughs> and if you're going to start, what kind of specific problem that you would like to start? OK. <clears throat> Regarding the first questions, um, we have uh, the financial uh, sustainability is quite okay, completely okay, because we estimated uh, yearly uh, approved the case is 500 to 800 uh, initially. It, uh, it, it was uh, uh, estimated by limited number of data, but uh, uh, we prepared for the max, uh, uh, prepared this system at the maximum level of approved cases. So our system can work with the with number of approved cases of 500 or 800. So now we have uh, a lot of money left. So we reduced the insurance premium two years ago, and we uh, put the rest of the money uh, for each case, uh, uh, for individual case. 
and we use uh, we are planning to use up the rest of the money uh, which is remaining in our bank uh, in 10 years uh, so uh, the su sustainability is okay the problem is how to expand this system uh, uh, to other medical specialty or other uh, areas on in OBGY and how to finance it that's the problem we cannot transfer our money remaining in our bank to the to other areas because healthcare insurer, insurer, uh, insurance payers do not agree with that. That's the problem. Yes. As you are aware that the National Health Security Office also, as I mentioned to you earlier, also have some budget for this compensation. And I think I can say that it is also no fall compensation. So, uh, but I think compared to what Japan is paying for CP, mm -hmm. both in the first installment and then uh, later on during the next 20 <laughs> years, uh, I think our compensation is low compared to them. Much, so much lower. Much lower compared to them. <laughs> so I, I think we are not starting from zero. We are having some, but we have to do better. And we have to think about that. But the, the figure that I've got from your colleague is that uh, the amount that uh, they all, uh, take you, mm -hmm. pay to the victim, is about 60% of what the court usually grant to the victim. It's just 60% of that amount. So it saves certain money. But anyway, the government is the uh, organization that pay the premium uh, in the loop. It's public money. Any more questions, please? If not, I thank you, Dr. Chin, Dr. Visek, for your kind contribution to this session. Uh, I may say that uh, we may have to invite Dr. Chin again and again, just like his fellow in the surgical society, huh? <laughs> before we can move on. Oh, thank you, Dr. Chin. Thank you very much.